Dear Wisconsin, let's party! It's Milwaukee's newest neighborhood, built with a championship mindset, where passion meets pride and the spirit of our great city comes alive. Oh, what do you think? Serving up the flavors of Milwaukee. The moment of truth. Fueling fans with every bite, Woo. basket, and brew for everyone. Join us as we explore the sights, sounds, and stories of this one-of-a-kind community. Sign me up. Let the game begin. This is Dear Wisconsin. We are back again in Milwaukee, and now we are talking about tradition. Cherish old school tradition that's a deep part of Wisconsin's culinary history. That's right, we are talking about the Milwaukee fish fry. You guys, this is all about community. You remember as a kid going to your church, your school for the fish fry there, where you're getting the all-you-can-eat buffet. We are going in the way back machine to the iconic Clifford's Supper Club. The fish fry started in about the mid-60s because of a lot of the religious traditions of not eating meat on Fridays became very, very popular and it just grew and grew and grew. What comes with your fish fry? The Iceland cod, french fries, coleslaw, rye bread, and our own tartar sauce that we make in house. Is it a secret recipe? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> this would normally be for about four people to start out. We do try and keep the waste down to a minimum by just feeding a fair amount to start with. It's an all you can eat. So they will go back and bring you more pieces of fish. You tell us a little bit about the batter and the, and the way the fish is made. It's been prepared the same way for a while? All the way since uh, they started it in the mid 60s. It sort of absorbs the buttermilk into the breading. People like that it's not a very thick breading or batter. It uh, doesn't take away from the fish. You also have a, a full bar here. Are there, is there a signature cocktail that maybe Nicole and I should sample today? Yeah, the old fashioned is the staple for a supper club. It is Wisconsin with brandy, but we'll make it with whiskey. It sort of tells you that people are from Illinois or somewhere else when you get that. <laughs> we'll have a bouncer set up at the door right, for right, you from now right. on. Kick those Bears fans out. Check, check IDs. <laughs> Well, I have a personal connection to Clifford's. This was one of my grandfather's favorite fish fries, and some of my family still comes here to this day. Do you have regulars like that, and what is the atmosphere and the vibe of your clientele that comes here? Very much so, it's a family tradition. Ever since I was a little kid, my parents used to bring us here for fish fries. When they come back, we'll notice that the reservations will grow in number. So they bring my kids, my kids are starting to bring their kids, so it's, uh, it's just a tradition. We'll start having, you know, 12s, 13s, 20 people or whatever, because it's the family getting together and they're like, well, we gotta go to Clifford's for a fish fry, which is a very wonderful thing. And their food's delicious. Talk about how you handle, you know, the kiddos running around and things like that. Uh, I don't know that we handle it. <laughs> so what's next for Clifford's then? My dad lived to 101, so I got quite a few years left, you know. Who on earth does not like a good slice of pizza? Folks at Deer District tell me that Brick 3 is the premier place to get one. Our guy Eric over at the Modern says they know him by name and they start his lunch order when he walks in the door. That's my kind of spot. And look who's here! My fantastic co-host, Nicole! What's you up, ready everybody? to roll? Let's go make a slice! Let's, Ooh, let's roll! roll. Tell me a little bit about your background and how Brick 3 Pizza came to be. We're from Staten Island. We are Greek. Greek people love restaurants in Milwaukee. What do you love about Milwaukee? How close everybody is, knowing your neighbors. Brick 3 is directly in front of the district. The five serve people are huge. Great crowds, everybody gets along. And what was it like in 21 when they were making the push and the crowds were right here on your doorstep? Insane. A lot of fun and a lot of chaos. And what is your favorite pizza that you make? Best sellers wise, we have like barbecue chicken and bacon. Growing up in New York, it was cheese, pepperoni, or sausage. I'm yeah. ready to go make some pies. You ready to go? I'm in. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. Let's make some pies. Let's make some pieces. Do it. 
Dimitri, tell us a little bit about how your dough is made. Milwaukee style, as flat and thin crust as can be. The fold is the key. That's what makes it New York. You fold it while you eat it. Exactly. So if you guys want to start. Let's get saucy, Nicole. Okay. <laughs> She's a boss of sauce. I am going meat lovers. I've got my pepperoni, I'm going sausage, and of course cheese. Start with the cheese. Start, start with the cheese bag. too. Yep. Little fresh mozzarella. I'm gonna All right, start let's layering go. up some ronies. So I just yep. grab this grab and go? Grab like a chunk, pinch off a little by a little. Cool. Yep. Very nice. I got a little red onion right here. My daughter's name is Olive, so I'm going with little olives for her. Aww. A little pollo right here. I love it. I think I'm satisfied. We like to call that a pizza work. Yeah. yeah. Good work. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Anthony, let's do let's this. Let's go, Nicole. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake, Shake it, it off. off. Oh. OK, here Thank we go. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Perfection. That's beautiful. Ooh. Ooh, look at how much cheese is on the seat. Cheese, Louise. Cheese, Louise. That's a yeah. lot of cheese. All right, let's cut them up. No oh, squares. Yep. So just go straight up the middle. You guys did a great job. Let's eat. It's time to chow. I'm gonna go with a little fresh basil. Red pepper flakes. Oh my. Ooh. Ooh. Cheers. A little sprecker. We're told to fold. Oh my, look at this melty. All right, ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. 10 out of 10. Let me serve you a piece of mine. Mm. I'll do the same. Yours is very New York y. Mm -hmm. Nicole's pizza is better than mine. I was a little surprised by that. I'll take it, it is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, friend. Cheers. Cheer, Wisconsin, dear Cheers, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Hey. Coming up, Milwaukee turns up the volume with an impressive summer season of live music. We're talking about all the iconic acts soon to visit our local stages. The opening band is the one that three years later comes back and they headline. Ah, that sweet sound. The iconic rumble of a Harley Davidson. We pay a visit to the Harley Museum and meet up with a very special guest. We have a motorcycle from every year of production. Coffee, mmm, it's the most important meal of the day. A favorite local spot shares what keeps them percolating. Our mantra is that nothing is ever really fully done. You're watching Dear Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Bill Davidson, Vice President and Global Brand Ambassador for Harley Davidson. And you're watching Dear Wisconsin. How's it going guys? My name is Christian Rolls. I'm the manager at Uncle Buck's on 3rd Street and I'm going to teach you how to make the Junipero Jumper. We have the official gin of the Milwaukee Bucks Junipero. This is a great gin from California, very, very tasty. So we do about one ounce of the Junipero gin in a glass. Next, the tried and true Chambord. Chambord is a raspberry liqueur really kind of balances out flavor of the gin and it mixes well with our ingredients that we're going to use a little bit later. So we add another ounce of that into a glass. Now next we need a little bit of tartness so we grab some lemon juice and then you add three quarters of an ounce. Now to balance that all out we're going to need something sweet which we use again simple syrup and another three quarters ounce of that. Now for the fun part. Dump it into a shaker with some ice. Give it a little smack down. Grab Tom Collins glass, and then you pour directly into it. It'll add some ice to it, oops, or a lot of ice, who knows. And then top it with a little bit of lemon lime soda. Put in a straw and a lemon wedge, and there you are, the Junipero Jumper. The summer concert season is here. We've got everything you need to know about live performances big and small across the city. From legendary artists to up-and-coming acts, the countdown to concert season is on. July, the amphitheater, Amphitheater, Amphitheater. Uh, Atlantis Morissette, Joan Jett and Blackheart, it's gonna be uh, July 28th, that's a big one. And then August comes, and August is just bananas. First 11 days you have Wisconsin State Fair, that's one thing. Uh, over at Fiserv, I, this is my favorite one, Barry Manilow on August 3rd. Have you ever seen a group of Fanilows? 
I have it. Do you know they're called fan lows? I didn't. I learned something they're new today. They're awesome. Then August 7th, Blink-182, a band that we play all the time is playing. It's the original three from the 90s of Blink-182, the original lineup. They live are, are just incredible. Yeah. That's a show you really need to see. A couple days after the 15th, Heart and Cheap Trick, both bands are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Just think of that 12-day block. Yeah. Barry Manilow, Blink-182, Heart and Cheap Trick. That's amazing. I know you personally are excited about Green Day, right? Yes, August 24th, AmFam Field. Uh, finally a show I want to see there. Uh, you know, <laughs> no offense to them, but there was a lot of country there for way too long. So it's going to be Green Day, Smashing Pumpkins opening for them. The band Rancid, who uh, have been touring with Green Day for years and years, and a band called the Linda Lindas. And then at Veterans Park, we have the Harley Davidson Homecoming. Second year in a row they're doing this. July 27th is uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, the band Cypress Hill there. Your favorite uh, country, the, Jelly Roll. Jelly Marty. Roll is there, The Offspring is there. It's, it's kind of great, plus it puts Veterans Park in a really cool light. It's a great look. What are some places in Milwaukee to go see concerts that maybe, you know, are kind of under the radar? Some of my favorite shows are right kitty corner from Pfizer Forum, Turner Hall Ballroom always has just great shows. There's a new place on the east side called Vivarium. Seats about 350 people, so it's a lot of your newer upcoming bands. That's a beautiful, beautiful venue. What is it like to see a show at the Rave? There's the Eagles Ballroom on the very top, which uh, some of my favorite shows in the world uh, I have seen. Uh, we had the Black Keys there last December for our Christmas show. Black Keys are actually gonna be at Pfizer Forum in November. What are some, you know, individual smaller acts, maybe up and coming that you know of that people should be excited about and pay attention to? One of the guys, uh, Michael Marcaggi, he's opening up for Dave Matthews Band on June 22nd at Alpine Valley. Really great singer-songwriter. And I know, it's an opening band. And that's, that's kind of the key for watching shows, is don't miss the opening band. Because the opening band is the one that two years later, six months later, three years later, comes back and they headline. Someone else who's coming in October is Pink with the script. And she's known for her acrobatics and theatrics in her shows. That's what you're paying for. When people are like, ticket prices are too expensive. She's flying in the air. You, you should pay a lot for that. She's risking her life. Imagine stepping out of your front door to vibrant city living in endless entertainment. We're checking out the urban lifestyle at this Deer District loft space, the 550 lofts. We are attached to the Pfizer Forum through the Skywalk. This collection is impressive, and the stories that go with all these bikes are even more amazing. We're sitting down with a motorcycle legend as he reflects on his family's legacy and how it's still the pulse of Milwaukee after all these years. Milwaukee and Harley are synonymous, and it's so cool. It's not Thursday, but we're throwing it back anyway. So far, we got hooked on the fish fry at Clifford's Supper Club. Time really does stand still at this classic spot, and that's just the way we like it. Is it a secret recipe? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Pizza making is an art. Well, maybe not the way we are doing it, but close. The experts at Brick 3, they try to show us the way. Nicole's pizza is better than mine. Throughout our travels here at Deer, Wisconsin, we have seen pretty much everything. Every type of entertainment is available right here in downtown Milwaukee. What if you lived here and all of these amazing things were right outside your front door? We wanted to experience it firsthand, so we are here at the 550 Ultra Lofts. Jocelyn, thank you so much for joining us today on Deer, Wisconsin. Tell us about the 550 Ultra Lofts. Deer District is the resident's backyard. We are attached to the Pfizer Forum through the Skywalk. The residents can just walk straight through here and get to the game. This is amazing. If you're looking for luxury, we have that for you. Schedule a tour with me. I want to see one of these units. Can you show me one? Of course I can. Welcome in. This oh, is our awesome. one bed Whoa. loft. Whoa. This is our kitchen area here. Open concept. I love these countertops. Beautiful finishing. The backsplash is very unique as well. What is this? Our beautiful garage door. So it does go all the way up so you can access the outside balcony space. The gorgeous skyline view. So let's go up and see what we have in store.
We are in our beautiful main master suite. We do have the bathroom off to the side here, walk-in closet, and we have this gorgeous view that you cannot beat. We only have a select few here. Hurry up, Jocelyn's saying you don't got much time. The residents here are amazing. Me and my roommate fell in love with the city and what it had to offer. This was just a perfect location for us, very affordable as well. My favorite spot is the rooftop because the view is great up there. Go up and maybe work from home, host friends. We have great access to the gym. In the mezzanine, we have our coffee bar, pool table. We do have the Trade Hotel right next door. El Servo is my favorite place. We like going to Harp and Water Street Brewery, the Good City Brewing, the Mecca. There's festivals, brewers games, bucks games. Me and my roommate have been here for almost a year and we actually just re-signed. I'm excited to see what else Milwaukee has to bring. This is luxury living in the heart of Deer District. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. I appreciate your time. Of course. Thank you. To learn more about the 550 Ultra Loss, check us out at DeerWisconsin.com. Just in the shadows of Deer District, attention to detail is brewing at Pill Crow Coffee. Pill Crow launched about eight years ago and has been in its current space since 2020, creating and crafting the perfect cup that's accessible to everyone. Our mantra is that nothing is ever really fully done, right? The vanilla latte is not ever completely done, whether we're trying to source better vanilla, figure out the process for how we actually make the vanilla, or roast the coffee, or prepare the milk. Whatever it is, we're always kind of looking back in the rear view mirror and evaluating, is that the best way that we can showcase our products? Just ahead, he was the king and this was his first chariot. It was Elvis's motorcycle. Treasures like this one and so much more await at the Harley Davidson Museum. I can't wait to go back. You are watching Dear Wisconsin. I'm Keith at Brick 3 Pizza. You're watching Deer, Wisconsin. There is nothing more Milwaukee than Harley Davidson, and we are at the Harley Davidson Museum. Ground zero, Nicole, for that uniquely American spirit of adventure, freedom, and wind in your hair. That's right, and these four guys behind us built it from the ground up, Anthony, in a 10 by 15 foot shed, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And we are so lucky that we get to meet one of their family members here today who's leading the brand of Harley Davidson. We're at the museum that you guys built in 2008. What can people see here? This is a treasure chest of 121 years of history. We have a motorcycle from every year of production. This is an amazing motorcycle because it was Elvis's motorcycle. Evil Knievel. You truly get the feel of the soul and essence of Harley Davidson when you come to the museum. This is 100 fuel tanks, all with different color, different design. People that visit the museum, this is one of their favorite exhibits. It's eye candy. What's the coolest bike maybe in this room we're sitting in? I would say serial number one. Those are my relatives. They were the ones that said, we have a dream. These are the four founders, Arthur, Walter, and William were the three Davidson brothers, and then their good friend, Bill Harley. They were able to weave the formula together to create a successful first bike. It was a lot of trial and error. By 1920, they were shipping bikes to 67 different countries around the world. Their focus, their dedication, their passion, their strength of never giving up is something that means a lot. What does the city of Milwaukee mean to you? Milwaukee to me is like a hidden jewel. No matter where I go, the people I'm surrounded by, they'll say, where are you from? And I'll say, Milwaukee. And they say, 
Harley Davidson. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So the, the Milwaukee and Harley are synonymous, and it's so cool. My relatives started this company. The first bike rolled out in 1903, and we're still here today, and we're not going anywhere. This is home. You as a person, as a rider, what are some of the things you've done or that you like to do as a Harley Davidson enthusiast? There's no better way to see the world than from the seat of a Harley Davidson. You're in the environment. You're within nature. We often say, follow your front wheel. Go on an adventure, go on a journey. It's that spirit of adventure, the unknown, the spirit of freedom, the wind in your face, the people you meet. It's a formula that's really powerful. And that's why people come up to us at events and they say, thanks for changing my life. I am so happy. You and I, we will meet again soon, Milwaukee. Until then, we've got lots to look forward to. We're sitting down for a fish fry, brandy, and a few laughs with Charlie Barons. Well, cripes, Charlie. Cripes. It is good to see you. We're leaping into summer in green and gold with the legend who started it all and the inventor of the Lambo Leap. And did you know one of the top science museums in the country is right here in Milwaukee? We're discovering everything it has to offer. Here at Discover World, we inspire generations to discover the wonders of science. Thanks again for watching. This is Dear Wisconsin. We'll see you soon. Peace. Always have one person, person that will, will always have you. St. Texas. Who? I Lay know how old them. Them. Yeah. Awesome. To the That's the only way we know how to walk. Rock on all the small, small things. things. You are. Heart sucks. I know. This is Blink 183. <laughs> we won. We won extra.